So pretty. Okay, it is Thursday already. Afternoon, late afternoon, it's almost 3 30. 3 30. Uh, I've been working all day, I'm deep deep. Uh, haven't worked out at all. I'm on my way for a short, easy, fun trail run. I could like my favorite places, like 10 minutes from here. going to keep running and then I was gonna take a break and then tell you more about what I've been up to lately but it's so quiet and nice right now that I just want to do it now so we're starting a new month and we're actually starting the last two months of 2017 so dig deep dig deep is going well um, starting to gain traction people are starting to recognize the brand more and more people are starting to engage with the brand more and more get excited about it um and of course people are starting to buy which is really awesome sweet if you remember uh i, I work with the, an artist to create this design and we printed this design and hats and and socks and headbands and they are doing t-shirts and they're doing great really really well recently placed a second order of several of these items just because I want to be ready for the holiday uh, season for Christmas so that's the goal really my main goal with Dig Deep for this year is not only to keep building the brand awareness that's happening but have a great and successful holiday uh, Christmas you know campaign and so and of course there's several other things that I have in mind for next year but I just want to focus on short term goal and that's that one of the things that I've been doing to help keep that brand awareness is working uh, with ambassadors launched team dig deep uh, I don't know a little over a month ago and I think it's going really well people you know teammates are really really excited about being part of you know of, of dig deep and uh, they're sharing their posts on social media, so it's awesome. I'm, I'm really, really happy about how that's evolving. Of course, there's a lot of things to do that I'm gonna keep working on, but I think it's a really good start. You know, that's one of the things I guess that I am learning to embrace as an entrepreneur is that I just need to try things, you know, and they're not gonna work, but you need to keep trying until you figure out something that works. Like for instance, today, um, I just started a, a new, I guess, series of posts that I like to call what is your favorite 
and so my goal is to kind of like ask people especially on instagram i don't know maybe once a week or once every two days who knows like they, favorite things like for instance today I kicked it off asking people hey what's your favorite song while you're training or while you're riding on your indoor trainer and we'll see how it goes you know um my goal is to generate engagement one of the things that uh are gaining more and more traction with uh, the Instagram presence that social uh, that Dig Deep has is um, the like the daily quotes. So every day I post a daily uh, a quote. You know, hopefully that's motivational. Hopefully it will help you to kick off your day. So a lot of work with Dig Deep, but I think that um, I'm really proud. You know, I'm working really hard. I'm working on something that I believe in. That I think uh, it's. It's becoming more than just an apparel brand, a community, so I'm happy with that. So the training and racing thing, so you probably remember, um, so my main goal for this year was Ironman Boulder and I had a DNF, right? So then I thought about maybe doing Ironman Louisville and I started training for it, but then I realized that I couldn't make that a priority for me for this year because of Dig Deep. Basically, you know, as an entrepreneur, you don't have a lot of resources, so you have to use the few resources that you have available in your business. So I couldn't justify paying, you know, um, that much money to fly down to Louisville and do the race and things like that. So I decided to, um, like, not do it. And so that was probably a month and a half ago. But then I was just wondering, I was thinking, what should I do? And wasn't sure about, you know, what is it that I wanted to do? And then I decided to start doing some trail running. So I did like a 50K uh ultra run or trail run here in colorado called the bear chase went well it was fun i was super slow but it doesn't matter i had fun and now that's november my initial goal was to do a 50 mile race but honestly there's no 50 mile races in the colorado area i don't want to go i don't want to go anywhere else but i was thinking that maybe i could try doing a 50 mile like like self-supported run basically here this is the the boulder reservoir area and there's all kinds of trails and there's all kinds of loops that you can you know run on and there's this loop that i like to do and i was thinking that maybe i could do like a 50 mile you know run where i just basically run in loops so and i love that idea of doing it you know even telling people hey come join me for a loop or as many loops as you want but honestly I, I, i'm out I don't know, I just I feel I'm not trained, right? So I just, it's hard for me to uh, go on the record or, or go on social media and tell people, hey, I'm going to do this 50 mile run, you know, in early December. So I still want to do it. I think it's going to be fun. Actually, we're working with uh, uh, to maybe make a fun run with Dick Deep, but. And I still want to do the 50 mile run, not only because I, I, I like to challenge myself, but I don't know, I just, I, 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 uh, I wanna, you know, try to help inspire people, you know, believe in themselves, I don't know, all those kinds of things. So we'll see how that goes. I wanna feel that I, that I am in, um, in a more decent shape than I am right now because I have not been swimming and, and and biking lately um, and you know my goal for next year is definitely do Ironman Boulder I want to go back but I haven't been training really I haven't been able to uh, talk with my coach about um, you know what's next and when we should start training and so um, yeah um, so I haven't been really doing much of the swim and bike portion it's been more like running and not super long distances really um so it's interesting because one of the things that i think about let's walk one of the things that I, I think about more and more is like okay i feel that i'm giving my best with dig deep and i'm just things are starting to starting to find my rhythm and, and starting to i guess figure out what is it that i'm supposed to do with my life as an entrepreneur but i'm been struggling in my training uh i mean I don't know maybe it's because i don't really have any specific goals in mind right now or who knows it's just that i you know i've been just i don't have any anything in specific and any specific goals or any specific training so um yeah you know one of the things i i i i, 
ask myself is like, okay, I know that my priority right now is dig deep, but why is it that I'm not training as hard as, as hard as I am working right now? And sometimes I wonder if, if it's not possible to have two top priorities, right? And then I tell that to myself and then in the next second I'm thinking, dude, you just, these are just excuses. So anyway, keep running. You see, what I know for sure is that I want to, you know, I want triathlon to still be my main focus next year. So at this point I know that I want Ironman Boulder in June of next year to be my main goal. I love this part of my run. Keep digging deep. 